video and this shows like a kitchen thing here or something. Is that the kitchen? Want to go in there? Yeah, sure. Following you. This, this is the tour. Yeah. And I saw that you guys, that uh, JJ did. Here's the kitchen. Yeah. Okay. Is, is JJ here? Not interested in answering any questions. Okay. The reason we're here, if you're vittling, is because we have a complaint that they're using this for more than a single family home or a duplex, which is can be okay if they have certain safeguards in place. And that's why we get the warrant to come in and make sure that's occurring. Can you show us where? the uh, bedrooms are or something? I'm not showing anything. Okay. Basically saw some of that on the uh, video that you guys posted. Here. Excuse me, what's going on here? Hi. How Hi, are you? Ian, how are you? I'm not well. There are strangers in my house. Oh no, we're not strangers. Well, what are you doing here? We have a uh, administrative inspection warrant issued by the uh, District Division 8th Circuit Court in Keene yesterday. I'll give you a copy. We left one for this gentleman, but he didn't accept it. What's this regarding? It's, uh, well, I'll let the fire captain speak trying to, to explain. If we had received a complaint. Uh, uh -huh. Mr. Parcells is a housing inspector. They filed a complaint to the fire department. My name is Captain Lafreniere. This helps you. I'll give you a card. You don't have to take it if you don't want. And we're answering the complaint, seeing if we have evidence that there's more than a single or two-family house here going on. That's the complaint. So wait, my somebody, jo my job, me. somebody can just say something to you, and you get to come into my house? No, no, that's not right. What happened was there was evidence put on YouTube or the videos that were taken and shown to the public indicated that this may be used more than a single family home. And in that case... This is a duplex. It, it's a duplex, yes. Single and two family homes are residential units. If you expand that to other things, may jump into lodging home type requirements. And if that's the case, I'm interested in your fire safety of this building and your occupants and that's why I'm here, to see if it is beyond a single or two-family home and being used as a lodging house. And in that case, you would need some other safeguards, more than a, a small uh, battery-powered smoke detector. You need more detection in here for the protection of the occupants. Based on that information, we went to Keene District Court to obtain an administrative warrant because you told the housing inspector he was not allowed on the property. So, we went and got the administrative search warrant from the court, which gives us permission to come in. So we didn't break into your house or anything. We knocked and were let in. And well, I never let you in. I, I specifically said you were not allowed in. And he said he wasn't cooperating, but we have that warrant. So that's why we're here. Okay. And I take Well, I think it, that's horrible. I, I take it you're the owner of the house. I don't think I met you personally. I'm sorry we had to meet under this circumstance. I don't appreciate this one bit. Okay. And the thing I, I asked you like me to know I saw your, your video house. showing um, the bedrooms or what have you, and that's what we were just asking to. I'm not sure what video we're talking about. Well, there's there's postings. It's the video JJ? is of JJ in the downstairs, not the upstairs, but on the the YouTube or the Keen Activity Center, uh, there are photographs of bunk beds upstairs. Um, there is conversation, and I have it all. If you, I'm sure you're aware of it. I could give you copies that I have, but um, there is evidence that uh, this is something other than a one-family, two-family home here. So that's what the fire department is here to inspect for. So we'll be going up. Based on that one, we'll go up and look at the bedrooms and see if they smoke detectors and such there, and we'll let you know the results. 
Yeah, do you, sir? You guys should be ashamed of this. This is really, this is really sad. We don't want to bother you in the bathroom. We don't want to bother you in the bathroom. We're here for an inspection. Yeah, no problem. Just want to let you know we're here. Is this a bedroom over here next to the shower? Why is the fire department here? They claim they're looking for smoke detectors. What is that room? That is uh, shower, I believe, right? Well, I, I heard yeah. a voice coming from there. Yep, take your time. Is there a way to get in the cellar from the apartment or is it outside? I don't have that answer. Okay. I didn't know if that was meant for Ian or I don't have anybody that want to answer. The uh, smoke detector ordinance for rentals indicates you need a smoke detector on every level interconnected, and that's all for fire safety, for your safety, for your occupant's safety here. Um, and that's all that would be needed for your typical one or two family home. Okay. Have you seen that here? Uh, I have seen something blinking there, and I haven't got to the cellar yet. And I didn't see any. We're looking for another bedroom, I guess. Because it showed two bedrooms in the video. And then that's basically it. So how many homes do you guys break into every uh, every week? There you go, right Hello. Oh, okay. Excuse me. That's what you're doing. Uh, I would like anybody to else? know why I was woke up. Uh, these men apparently believe they own this property and so they can come in and do whatever they want as long as they have a piece of paper with a man in a robe signature on it. Okay. I was woken up too, by the way. By my phone call. That's right. Yeah, we're just notifying you as the property owner. Well, I appreciate that, but I don't appreciate what well, you're you, doing. You requested that we notify you in the uh, trespass notice. Thanks, sir. I appreciate yeah, that. Hello? Just following your request. Anybody else inside? I guess that's the only gentleman in there. Okay. Anybody sleeping? I don't see a smoke detector. See That's what's posted on the website. Yeah. We've seen. Looks like egress windows. Mm. 
Captain, this this is what is posted on the website. Yeah, it's just familiar. Yeah. One, view. two, three, four, five. It's a little crowded for a small bedroom. Are you still in the bath, that gentleman? No, if that's just the bathroom, I don't have to get in there at all. Okay. I don't want to bother anybody there. All we're basically looking for is the bedrooms, showing that it's more than allowed for a single two-family home. Um, they can make provisions to make that happen if it's possible. There would be some extra safety precautions have to be taken if you're going to make this a, like a lodging home requirement for more than four people. Otherwise, it'd have to be back to a single or two-family home, which is maximum four people on each side. And if that's the case, all you need is residential smoke detectors. But if you're going to go beyond that, then there's more safeguards coming into place. That's why we're here, and that's what was shown on your video. Advertising I'm not sure whose video it was. What you're talking guy named JJ was giving a tour of your house, showing like the bedroom and your your rooms down here. That's he showed the down. Captain, he just showed the downstairs, not the upstairs. He sat right here on these stairs. Yeah. JJ did. Yeah, but he showed that room there with the... No, we have that on photograph, not okay. video. Oh, okay. Okay. That's what we're trying to determine here, so we can give you something to write and say. You can have a family home. You're going to home. You're gonna tell you this is how you make your house safe. For Does anyone here feel unsafe? Single or two, two family home. home. All we have to do is... All I have to do is check the seller, and I'm, I'm then I'm complete. Do, you know, I'm happy to do things that are safety oriented, but I don't appreciate threats. And I don't appreciate strangers coming in my home and waking up my tenants. And I don't appreciate seller? any of this. Could be. Uh, I would like an apology for being that is not the seller door. No, it's not. Do you want to tell us where the seller is? We'll or go right around the corner. Here. This way. Okay. That'll finish yeah. if we get hit the and seller. We'll be out of your life. Excuse me. Oh, I'm Thank sure you. you won't, Fred. You're going to probably come back with some sort of a threat. You're going to probably send my, me or my tenants to court. So, no, I doubt that you're going to be out of my life. I highly doubt it. This is the seller. Just so you don't have to take this, but just so you're aware, this is a... Okay, I'm looking for a smoke detector down here is what I'm looking for. See one. Okay. Basically, that's what I was looking for a smoke detector, and I don't see one down here, which is something they're going to have to address. Thank you. Is we make notice to you saying we see something missing. We let, as you being the homeowner, we would notify you saying, hey, this is what the fire code says you should have, and go from there. Give you time to make that happen. Mm -hmm. Okay? None of this is okay. I mean, like I said, I don't mind doing things that help with safety. I have no problem. And with that's that. our only job is safety. Yeah. I have no basically. problem with that. Okay. I mean. I thank you for your time. I appreciate you coming out. And I think I'm right. done with my inspection. We're done with ours. And the housing inspector left a copy of the 
the warrant, which gave us the our authority. That's the system we have. That's what we have to use. I also thank you very much. You didn't have to do any of this. I also left some of the evidence that uh, you guys just could just want. leave peaceful people alone and stop threatening folks. You know, you could do all Is there of that. But for the, uh, police? Here's the. Uh, Sir. Is there any reason for the uh, police here? There's a copy of the warrant. They're scared. Someone complained anonymously and they can just do whatever they want, walk into people's houses based on it looks like Detective Randy over there. Oh, they brought all the undercovers out. Get a like, come on. You guys are pathetic. It's embarrassing. Off to go threaten someone else now. Poke around somebody's uh, somebody else's house while uh, tenants are sleeping. Real professional. Protect and serve. You guys should be ashamed. Protect the establishment and serve anybody who questions it.